This over here is your normal skull. But can you imagine being born with multiple holes in your skull? Maybe not, but this can actually happen, and it is called cranial lacunia or looking shadow, which both basically mean a lacunar skull. In this condition, there will be numerous round effects in the skull which are separated by dense bony ridges giving a honeycomb-like appearance. You see, the bone making your skull has an inner and outer table, with some spongy bone in between. With a lacunar skull, what happens is that there will be defects involving the inner table of the skull while the outer table remains intact. Hence, these holes and gaps which are easily detected by x-ray of the skull will not be detected by physical examination. However, in more severe cases of lacunar skull, where both the inner and outer tables are involved, you might actually feel the gaps and holes by just touching the skull from outside. This more severe form is sometimes referred to as cranial fenestra, indicating the fenestrations in the skull. Regardless whether a lacunar or fenestrated skull, the cause and mechanism behind this condition is not exactly clear. Some have related the condition to increased pressure in the brain, but this has been called into question. The risk with these holes is that brain tissue may bulge into the gaps or even may herniate through them, causing damage to the brain. However, the good news is that because of a process called remodeling, most patients will have resolution of these gaps and holes by the time they are 6 months old, although it might take longer in some cases. Perhaps the most important part to keep in mind is the high association of this condition with other congenital problems such as Chiari malformations or other neural tube defects. What this means is that if you have detected a lacunar skull in a patient, then be on a hunt for other likely coexistent congenital abnormalities. That being said, Lacunar skull has also been reported in individuals without any concurrent congenital or neurological abnormalities, but they are more of the exception rather than the rule. The diagnosis of lacunar skull is made by skull imaging, whether x-ray or CT scan. Some cases can be diagnosed with ultrasound even before birth. It is interesting to know that although lacunar skull is mostly looked as a congenital condition, which means you are born with it, there are a few reports of individuals acquiring such condition during childhood. Regardless whether congenital or acquired, please mind the gap.